Let's move on to, um, to someone else who's got a lot of money. Um, but I definitely don't want running for high office, which is our friend <laughs> Prince Harry. Now, he's got himself into a bit of a bind here, and I know, I know why. This is what he said to Tom Bradby at ITN. There's a fair amount of drugs, marijuana, mm -hmm. magic mushrooms, cocaine. I mean, that's going to surprise people. But important to acknowledge. Well, maybe it is, but what he didn't factor into his confession, particularly about drug-taking in America, is he's not an American citizen. Yep. So in a state like California, a lot of Brits might go there and mm. think, oh, it's legal to be seen smoking splits. It's not unless you're an American citizen. The federal law for the whole country, which would apply to non-citizens, is that it's illegal. So he's admitted breaking the law. That could trigger a review of his visa status. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the argument is he's not a threat to the country, so mm. that shouldn't affect him too much. But it just shows he's, he's, he's a very stupid man because there's so many instances. I mean, one of the things that he's been complaining about... I did about... magic mushrooms in California. Oh, you idiot. Just, you Why idiot. would you say that? But the thing is, he's been complaining with... The, he's, his legal case with the Home Office is that he, hasn't, mm. he doesn't receive enough security because of his status. Well, you know one thing? You don't help yourself when you talk about your Taliban kill count in your book. Yeah. Right? He is his own worst enemy. And this is another thing that just shows how really short-sighted he is as an individual. Yeah.